Hello, and welcome to another Android tutorial. Wow, it's been a while. It's been almost nine or ten months since I've done one of these. As you can see, uh, I'm on a different computer. I'm actually completely Linux-based. I'm doing this uh, using desktop uh, recorder, actually uh, Kazam, on my Linux machine. It's the machine I do my, all my development on. So I'm going to do my recording of these videos on it, too, from now on. Let's go ahead and get to tutorial 20, and we'll go ahead and load it up. And let's see when it finally loads. Tutorial 20 worked. We got connection. That seems pretty basic. It's just a text string. It's loaded. Uh, but let's go ahead and look at our class and uh, see what makes us special. This is our first tutorial that we're going to have that's going to cover uh, retrieving data from a web service, specifically a website. Uh, first thing you'll notice at the top of the file, tutorial20.java, we've got about five uh, imports for a bunch of classes we've never seen or used before. And then over, you can look over here briefly at the structure of the project, a single Java file, a single XML, and uh, our manifest. And then uh, we've included a PHP file, and I'll get to that in a bit. So we load up the activity. We set our view, we set our text view element, and then we try to actually uh, get uh, our internet data. And the way we're going to do that is by, first we create a new uh, HTTP client object. We then use that to create a, we then create a post object, use the client to execute the post, get the response, uh, and then use the uh, entity from the response to get an input stream, and we read the input stream, and we set the content of our text reader to that input stream. So you can see this tutorial uh, 20 worked, we got connection text string nowhere in our file. We're actually getting it from this URL. And if you want, you're free to use this URL itself. Uh, and actually, if you look at the content of that, it's a little PHP file. That's all it does. It takes a text string, JSON encodes it, spits it back out. Now, one other important thing to remember, uh, you must set this permission in your manifest. You will drive yourself crazy trying to troubleshoot or debug your program uh, if you do not have this in it when you're trying to use internet permission. You need the internet permission set. Uh, other than that, as you can see, it's the most basic stripped down uh, sample I could come up with. Uh, just take a request for a website, get some data, put it in a text string, load it, view it, and you're done. Um, other than that, look real briefly at our main XML. You can see there's nothing else in it. It's just got a uh, single text view, and that's it. Uh, wow, it's been a while since I've done one of these. I, I hope to do some more of these sooner next time. Uh, I've got about three or four more in the can that I'd love to get and knock out. And uh, I hope the uh, audio and video on this uh, new platform is just as good or better than my earlier ones. So let me know, and if there's anything else, uh, feel free to drop me a line at my uh, email address. I'll talk to you soon.